Hello everyone, I'm back with another interesting video of Google Earth Engine tutorial. Today we will see how to download evapor transpiration data from Google Earth Engine. Okay, let's start. First of all, I have to define a study area or use my assets in order to upload, import uh, the shapefile that I uploaded before. In order to do this, I'm gonna go to assets. I'm gonna download a transpiration product for this area by clicking on that. We can see my study area from import I use in order to import into my environment. Okay. Now it's time to use map that center object and also map add layer to add my study area into my screen. Here I have to import the name of my study area that it's table. Again, I have to paste it here. If I save, okay, as you can see, it's successfully saved and I need to run the code and we can see my study area is here it's in northern part of Italy I'm gonna download evapor transpiration data for this area okay in order to do this first I have to find my targeted product that is here from search I'm gonna say modis evapor transpiration data as you can see we have different sites of data here for modis with a special resolution of 500 meters and so one kilometer here i'm going to use this one because it's gap field that's available for eight days each eight days okay by clicking on that we directly go to its uh, brief description of this data its availability from 2000 until the present time and also some bands here we can see its resolution the name of the product that are available here total evapotranspiration or let's say potential evapotranspiration and also so on for example i'm gonna monitor i'm gonna download this one in order to do this i'm gonna copy its id this product id and go back to my code i'm saying for example et in order to call my data i'm gonna use ee.image collection okay now i have to paste the copied id here okay now it's time to define further details regarding this product for example for what uh, which reason uh, for which region i'm interested in downloading this data set i'm using filter bonds to define my study area that it's table For defining the date that I'm interested in downloading this data, filter date is a good option in Google Earth Engine. The date that I'm interested in downloading this data is from the 1st of 2020. until the end of this year okay 
Now, as I said before, I'm interested in downloading e evapotranspiration ET. To do this, I'm using select and I have to go back to my co uh, to product from bands. I have to copy its name and paste there. Depends on your usage, you can let's say and also download PET or PLE or whatever you are interested. For example, I'm using this one, ET. In the next step, I'm going to define a media operation in order to divide all the collection into individual image. After that, I'm saying that clip all these data sets my collection into my study area okay until now it's okay i can run also print my code in order to do this i'm using print the name of the product or collection we can say it's here and also i want to add it as a layer to my layers for this one map a layer is a good option okay now i can save and also run the code as you can see it's printed here one band and so we can see collected evapotranspiration for my study area until now we collected these data for the year 2020 now i'm gonna download this data and you open it in arcgis environment in order to do this i'm using export image to drive it's a good option i need to define several description of my collection for the first time i have to say from et collection and the next uh, step i have to give a description for my collected data the name of the, my collection that i'm going to export would be ET for 2022. Again, in the next step, I have to define for my specific study area. I'm interested in downloading this data. For this, I'm using a region and saying I want to clip it to, down, uh, to table. In the next step, it's asking about a special resolution of the collected data. As I said before, it's 500 meters. And I import this one here. And for the final things, I'm gonna define max pixels. That should be like this okay now the code is ready and by saving and running the code i can easily download these ones for example if i run click and run you can see its name you can check it again a special resolution would be 500 meters you want to save it in drive and google drive and also the name of the file that it's gonna save here we can also change its format but i'm going to export it as a jotif okay by clicking run run it starts to export this data 
since the special uh, the temporal resolution of area is a little big it's gonna take a while in order to download this data As I said before, for defining a study area, you can use assets. That I have a video on my channel regarding how to import shape files into Google Earth Engine, or you can use, you can do it manually by drawing a let's say, rectangle shape, or let's say whatever you are interested. And so here we have other products you can use them for example this one this one and inside these each of these we have the other separate product that you can use depends on your usage but this one why i use this one because it's gap filled as you can see my download finished i need to go to by uh, opening the Google Drive it's downloaded here by clicking on download and defining the output okay it's successfully downloaded now I'm gonna go to the ArcGIS environment from a data I add my downloaded evapotranspiration. Right now we can see it's downloaded evapotranspiration from here. We can change its color or we can go from properties, from symbology. I'm gonna come to classify it in five class. Okay, right now like this. Change the color. Display no data as a white one. Okay. Now we can see in a color way my collected data. Okay. That's it. Hope the content of this video will be useful for you. I show you how to, in this tutorial, explore it, how to download a port transpiration data from Google S Engine and also how to open them in ArcGIS environment. Thank you very much for your attention and if the content of this video will be, uh, is useful for you, please like the video and also subscribe to my channel.